Hello. Here we are with the first model of the of the year finished. Uh, it looks pinker than it is because in real life it's more of a sort of desert fake tan than desert pink or desert yellow. But that's me just telling you more than you need to know. Um, so there we are. It's finished. My Tornado GL1 from 1991-ish. If you notice, for a couple of weathering items I've done is uh, put a bit of smoke on there, and that's achieved by uh, using a, a weathering pastel. It's just a pastel it is in, in various different shades they use for weathering. Uh, scrape it on there so you make the powder, and then use the brush and I just just flick it on. I keep on layering, 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 and layering until you think it's uh, it's enough. Um, I've cleaned off some of the dust by the by the air brake because I think there'd be less on the air brake, but that can just be achieved by um, licking your finger and rubbing it off because it's only dust it is. It's like well, it's chalk dust, isn't it? It's pastel. Uh, unfortunately, this kit doesn't have clear part for the light on top, so I've got to paint it silver. Um, and the shape of the co the cockpit kind of be lacks the indentation there. The, uh, some of the decals were difficult to stick on. Um, I'm not sure why that is, perhaps it's the paint colour. But the trouble is, I can't use decal set for this because the decal setting solution, uh, Microsol Microset, reactivates the paint because this paint is Tamiya uh, acrylic, which is, I think, a alcohol based uh, acrylic. So the setting solution reactivates the paint so if you daub it on it'll um well it'll be your paint everywhere <laughs> it'll cover all the decals decals a little bit shinier than i'd like to be but um they're good they're you know cartograph decals i think and uh but it, i should really have a um a matte overspray here but i haven't got the equipment or the materials the targeting pod or whatever it's called uh, lacked a, a clear part as well so what I did I got a square edge file small file and in, indented a square area there and tried to fill it with uh, white glue which dries clear and even after about four or five attempts um, the trouble is when it dries it also shrinks a little little hole there but uh, compared to the usual instructions of either to paint it black or silver, I think that's preferable. Uh, I could probably have painted these wheels uh, light grey instead of white, but uh, I'm going mainly by the instructions on the kit. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word then. Um, this here isn't part of the kit. This is a Tamiya tape, cut to size, to act as the, uh, I don't know what the word is for this, but the sort of gasket type of thing, to, um, between the sliding wing, swinging wing, and the fuselage. So I've just got a bit of Tamiya tape to cut to size, and just um, with the weathering pastels again, try to darken it down a bit, to a more realistic colour. Not accurate, but it's... Uh, better than having a big hole there or using the decal, black decal like they suggested which I think would be the wrong colour anyway various different painted shades, there's acrylic paints silvers and high end colour and because the tail section moves still you can move it out of the way for if you want to do some painting or if you want to uh, put the decal on in the right place because otherwise you have to put the decal on before you put the tail on but now you can move this out of the way and it still works. You can uh, position it to your convenience. So there we are. That's more or less it. There's, I didn't bother painting the um, detonation cord because it's uh, raised and and under, underneath. Uh, but uh, it's there enough to see. There's a suggestion of it. I had to, um, like I said before, make another part 
this part here is uh, scratch built as they call it so it's a bit of sprue it's been scraped to shape and uh, this is the rear half of the refueling probe uh, because the other original part I left flat on the floor I couldn't be bothered to look for it because I had a miserable state phase looking for things I already had to look for one of these aerials when that dropped on the floor um, used a bit of black paint for the uh, gap which is usually here and I've made a little hole in that intake there which wasn't a hole before I think I've shown you that in another video I haven't bothered to put any bombs on you uh, for this even though it is a Gulf War era one the Big Eater so there's, a, there's a story behind that because the bombs and the missiles which were provided I didn't think were um, accurate enough really that's your bomb it's your basic dumb bomb but there should be a extra part on the front of that and this sidewinder is pretty much generic and uh, primitive Fucking so I left the uh, pylons empty so that if in the future I've got the weapons to put it on I can uh, put them on then if you notice too lastly I've got a little bit of a weathering attempt there on the tanks and the parts which should be exposed to uh, weathering with sand so I painted it green at first and then I painted it over with um, with the desert colour and then I'm using a, a nail file as a sanding stick Here's one of these I just uh, carefully scraped it off like that gently scraped it off until the green underneath was uh, showing through so there we are the uh, Italeri Ital Ital Oh, the other thing, the seat's too small. But I couldn't, uh, didn't have a replacement for those. The Italeri 172 scale Panavia Tornado GL1, as per the Gulf War. So there we are, thank you for watching, and uh, I'm moving on now to the Bristol M1C aircraft. Bye.